we're glad to have in the studio again with us today, Lynn Hicks DeSanto. Nice Thank to you. have you. Thanks to ha for having me. I appreciate it. What are we going to talk about today? Well, Gordon, I've been wanting to ask you. It looks like you're a little unhappy with Governor Dugard right now. No. What would make you? <laughs> what would make you say that? <laughs> well, I read a little article written by you talking about the Obamacare money, and uh, it looks like uh, Dugard's been accepting some of the money, and you're not quite sure why. Well, I think we know why. Uh, but not only accepting it, he's been requesting it. Now, you know, I think this brings up a topic that you and I have talked about a little, mm -hmm. and that is how little the American voter really knows. Yes. It's astounding, if you'll forgive me, the stupidity of the electorate. Absolutely. People are so uneducated, Gordon, about the things that they're voting on. When they think they can get something for free, that's all that they hear, and they don't take any time to find out that nothing is free. There is no such thing as free things from the government. Oh, well, well, there didn't used to be. <laughs> you, Someone's paying for it, Gordon. Yes, you were telling me about an interview. You had seen someone asking about presidential yes. uh, candidates and that sort of thing, and Hillary Clinton came up. Share that story. Yes. So someone was being interviewed, and they actually asked the person, what do you think about Hillary Clinton running this year on the Democratic ticket for governor, for president? Excuse me. And the person had said, I think it's great that Hillary Clinton is running. And I'm looking at this thinking, this is a person that's voting? This is, they don't even know who's running on the Democratic ticket, yeah. but yet they are a Democrat. Something that astounds me is the, uh, uh, the intellectual dishonesty in the politicians that uh, claim to be serving us. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they want to appear to be something. They are absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I mean, give me a break. When John Kerry is saying his favorite book of the Bible is Palms, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, what? Yes. Um, and Nancy Pelosi is saying, uh, well, uh, you know, I support the 11th Amendment. Oh, is that the 14th Amendment? Well, whatever it is, you know, I, it I doesn't really that, matter. Right. I support that. <laughs> yes. Uh, even the politicians don't even know what they're talking about. Absolutely. And that's because, Gordon, they are always in campaign mode. They are campaigning all uh, the time. Obama never stops campaigning. Those people never stop campaigning. Therefore, they can't really get into the meat of the issue because they're just worried about getting that next vote for the next election. Well, and another reason they don't get into the meat of the issue, Lynn, is because they don't want us to know who they really are, do they? Mm -hmm. I would agree. John mm -hmm. Kerry wants us to think he's something of a biblical scholar. That's right. Uh, but those of us who have opened that book mm -hmm. uh, know that Palm <laughs> isn't a book in the Bible. That's right. So uh, I think it's just an interesting uh, uh, thing to watch when people begin to talk about politics mm -hmm. and they really don't know what they're talking they're about. They're really uneducated. And I don't think that they understand the long-term consequences of being uneducated and how people will say things like, it doesn't affect me anyway, it doesn't affect my life. People don't understand that those liberties and those justices mm -hmm. and the people that are making the decisions are eventually going, there will be something that you will feel. If you have not felt it yet, I believe you will be feeling it soon. And you know, in South Dakota, voters are informed on many issues. We live, in, fortunately, live in a state where uh, voters do seem to pay attention to fact. Mm -hmm. But the governor recently assailed voters by saying, well, they just, they just didn't have time. They didn't understand uh, the, uh, uh, the law, and so that's why they voted against it. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. He later, I think, apologized for that. But isn't it amazing that the, the elite politicians want to assume that if someone doesn't agree with them, it's just because they don't know any better. They don't understand. That's right. Maybe they do understand. Maybe on some, in some situations they understand so well that they don't vote for it. Isn't, that's possible. Yeah, isn't that a novel thing? <laughs> yes, that's a novel well, idea. Well, on both sides of that equation, we have some voters who know so little mm -hmm. about what really is being done by politicians. Mm -hmm. And then on the other hand, we have politicians who want to uh, uh, impugn the intelligence of legitimately 
well-informed voters. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a big mess, don't mm -hmm. you think? Absolutely. How well, are we gonna clean it up? <laughs> we have four more years, we gotta get through Gordon, four more years, oh. we just gotta bite our tongues and, well, you won't be biting your tongue, I know better than that. No, but God help <laughs> us, thank you for being in the studio. Yes. And thank you for being an informed voter. Thanks Absolutely. for paying attention. Yep. Thank you, Gordon. Stay tuned, we'll be back.